We are taking our first quick spin in the 2024 Chevrolet Trax. Now, the Trax is redesigned for this year, and it's very different than what it used to be. So it's a small, affordable SUV, not really an SUV. Well, it used to be an SUV because it had all-wheel drive, but by our measure now, it doesn't have all-wheel drive. So we're gonna call it a car, and it's actually one of the most affordable cars out there. It's on our top 10 most affordable list with a starting price of $21,000 with destination. And the car that we're driving is the top active trim level, and even with the optional packages, it is still only $26,000. So what do you get for $26,000? How does it drive? Well, this is our, our first impressions driving it. We've just got a, uh, a quick drive here. And it's a really interesting car because for its redesign, it's bigger than it used to be. It also has more technology, but it's more affordable. And with average transaction prices and forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, it's, it's really refreshing to see a car redesigned with such attention to technology and roominess and value as the new tracks. So under the hood is a turbocharged three-cylinder engine that makes 137 horsepower and it pairs with a six-speed automatic transmission. And that's less power than before. So it doesn't have quite as much power and it's a six-speed automatic. Now the six-speed automatic is nice because it's just a traditional automatic transmission. It's, it's not a CVT. Um, and it has that just very traditional feel. But that does come at the sacrifice of fuel economy. It's 30 miles per gallon combined, which is a little less than competitors. And this is gonna compete with the Nissan Kicks and the Hyundai Venue and the Kia Soul because like I said, right now, it is front wheel drive only. There is no more all wheel drive. And this is the top trim level, so it has the available 18-inch wheels. And I got to say, initial ride quality impressions are the impact harshness is uh, a little rough. We still have some more roads coming up that uh, are more broken that will give a better indication of how it rides. But um, this isn't really a, a, a cushy, plush ride. Um, maybe like some of its competitors, I think about the Hyundai Venue for sure. But like I said, this is the model with the 18 inch wheels. Um, the car is very different than the old one. So as far as how it drives, it has a longer wheelbase, which is the distance between the front wheels and the rear wheels. And that's supposed to improve ride quality. And then it also has a wider track width, which is the distance between the uh, passenger and driver side tires. And that's supposed to improve handling. Uh, well, I'm not going to get a great feel for handling on, on this route. Uh, we will get up to some higher speeds and be able to uh, see how well it rides at higher speeds. Um, it does feel substantial though, which is impressive because it is such an affordable small car that does feel like a big car. And I gotta say, the acceleration is actually not bad. Uh, at low speeds here, up to like 45 miles an hour, it's very responsive. And that six-speed automatic transmission is also very responsive. You hit the accelerator and it, it kicks down and it goes. Um, and that's pretty impressive for not a whole lot of power and also not a whole lot of gears. Six gears is, is not a lot in a, a modern transmission where you can have up to 10 fixed gears or a continuously variable automatic transmission that, that has uh, almost an infinite number of gears. Uh, so the six speeds, a little limiting overall, but acceleration is, is, is good. It's, it's better than I expected for just 137 horsepower. So we're going over some of that broken pavement right now, and uh, it's not too bad. It's a little noisy, but about what I would expect for this price range uh, and this size vehicle. What 
exceed 